What up guys, I'm that man Grizzle and welcome back to another episode of Gamers That Don't Know Shit. Today I'm going to show you how you can change your presser switch on your bladder tank. Alright guys, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to turn your power off and then you can check your power so you don't shock the hell out of yourself. First thing you want to do here is uh, drain your bladder tank. That way water's not going to spray everywhere once you take it off the nipple. But we're going to go ahead and take this screw out right here so we can get the top off the pressure switch. It looks like these lines were pigtailed to the ground here so we're going to have to take those apart to get the lines to pull them out of this pressure switch. Line on the left, neutral goes to pole number one on the left side and the power goes to pole number one on the right side. The line coming in from the right, the neutral goes to pole number two on the left side and the hot goes to the pole number two on the right side. We're going to go ahead and unscrew this clamp here on the right side so that we can start pulling out the wires. Now that we got that done, we're going to go ahead and unscrew all these uh, terminal screws here to take the wires out. Right here we're going to go ahead and take our pliers and untwist this pigtail because we're not going to need it. we got to take the wires out anyway. Now that we got everything unhooked we're going to go ahead and straighten out these wires so we can pull them out of the old pressure switch. Underneath the pressure switch there's a bolt that's connected to the pressure switch that is screwed onto the nipple. Just get yourself a wrench, unscrew it, and it comes right off. When you twist this off, there's going to be a little bit of pressure water still coming out even though you drain the bladder tank. But I got lucky right here. You can see my hose bib. I just ran it right down here in the sump pump. Now that the pressure switch is off, I'm going to go ahead and take all this old Teflon tape off. Now we're going to put some new Teflon tape on, that way there won't be any leaks. Here's the new pressure switch, all you got to do, screw it on. Alright, now we're going to put our wires back through, I got my ground on right here, we're going to go ahead and tighten this ground down. Now we're going to connect our right sides to the second poles on each side so the neutral goes to the second pole on the left, power goes to the second pole on the right. Now we got to put our uh, left line in, going to go ahead right here hook our ground up and tighten that down. Now we will put our left lines on to the first pole. Neutral goes to the first pole on the left. The power side will go to the first pole on the right. Once you have your lines all connected again, go ahead and take your bib off of the pressure release valve here. Uh, you're gonna turn the power back on and we are going to make sure that the pressure gauge goes back up and we will also be checking for leaks. If the pressure gauge does not go back up, all you have to do is put some air into the bladder tank. As you can see here, my pressure gauge went back up. There is no leaks, we are good to go and that's how it is done. Alright guys, that's how it's done. If you got any questions, leave them down in the comments, but before you go, don't forget to like my shit, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.